This video demonstrates a method to culture and dispense fluorescent strains of C. elegans for high throughput screening of chemical libraries or detection of environmental contaminants. To assess the effect of chemical or environmental agents on specific protein activity in C. elegans, bacterial cultures are first prepared as food for the worms and GFP transgenic synchronized worms are cultured. 0.5 to 2 million worms are then collected, washed, and dispensed into 384 well microtiter plates. Then, small molecules from a chemical library or test samples such as water, food, or soil are added to the worms. Finally, the fluorescence of the worms is measured with a microplate reader. Data analysis of fluorescence intensities reveals small molecules that modulate inducible transcriptional pathways or allows for the detection of environmental contaminants. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like in vitro and cell culture based assays is that time will not be wasted on compounds that are toxic or inactive in vivo. This high throughput method can help identify small molecules that modulate diverse inducible pathways. Though we developed this method for high throughput screening of small molecule libraries, it can also be applied to biosensing of contaminants in food and environmental samples. Demonstrating the procedure will be Andrew Dionorine, a technician from my laboratory, and Chi Long, a postdoc from my laboratory. Prepare bacterial worm food ahead of time. Begin by inoculating 500 milliliters of terrific broth supplemented with 50 micrograms per milliliter of streptomycin with 5 milliliters of saturated E. coli OP50.